John and Terry, it's not Times Square, but it's the place to be. A spectacular day in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Michigan Stadium, 108,000 strong as we get set for the Pac-10 against the Big Ten. Our holiday weekend bash presented by AT&T Wireless begins at the Big House, and it's a battle between the Huskies of Washington and the Wolverines of Michigan. Talking about the offense is not playing well at the end of the year. John Navarre took a lot of criticism from the fans here in Ann Arbor, and Brian Greasy knows as well as anybody how tough it is. We've heard about a new-look Michigan offense. Is that true or false as we come into well, this? Well, first of all, quarterbacks, too much credit when you win, <laughs> too much blame when you lose. Navarre didn't deserve all that. He had a lot of help. A lot of players graduated from that team. But what he has to do is just come in Terry Malone's a new offensive coordinator. It's not going to be anything new and different. They're going to try and run the ball. They'll spread it around, but Navarre has to make some plays for this team to win. They've got the defense to do it. Now can they do the offense? There comes the veteran group of Wolverines. They have Rose Bowl aspirations, as do the Huskies of Washington. We'll talk more about it when we come back to Ann Arbor in a moment. Reddick Jones, Williams, and Arnold. Rich Alexis sees the single setback. And Pickett wants to throw on first down and does and finds his tight end out in the flat. Going to be a short game, two or three for Kevin Ware. And it's Cato June. Empty backfield. So Pickett obviously is going to throw across the middle. A little drag round up to about the 27, 28 yard line is Charles Frederick. And Victor Hobson made the stop defensively for Michigan. For the Wolverines, and there's Marlon Jackson. And a lot of times he'll be head up with Reggie Williams, another freshman All-American wide receiver for the Huskies. Pickett on third and three. His tight end, it looked like he hit him right in the arm, but he didn't turn quick enough. And it's fourth down. Being the man under center for the Wolverines from their own 39. They want to get him in rhythm, and they throw it out to B.J. Askew. Tiptoes out of bounds at about the 42, so they pick up three or four yards on the open. Pick up a four on the first play. Second down, six. Bellamy in motion. Here's the give, and a big opener inside for Perry, and he's going to go. Chris Perry on the second play of the season. Touchdown, Michigan. from last year just better execution by the offensive line seven nothing Wolverines first down Huskies they'll stay with Alexis this time about a yard and that's about it Zach Kaufman the inside linebacker the first one there Kaufman is playing in there. First start today. And now uh, Pickett looks like he's changing things up at the 31-yard line. Comes up fire. Throws it outside. Near the 37 is Charles Frederick. Third down and three. Last time Michigan stopped them on their third down attempt. And now they're bringing everybody up close. And it pays off. The ball is loose. Michigan, I think, has got it. They do. Julius Curry is the guy that comes up with a big play. Gato June caused the fumble. Jim Herman, the defensive coordinator, said one of the things we want to do this year that we didn't do last year defensively is knock the ball out, get more turnovers, get the takeaways. Zach uh, Hoffman, number 37. I don't know if it... If Stevens 13 knocked it out or what, but it was close to it. Curry's the guy that comes up with a fumble recovery. Just good, aggressive defense by Michigan. Great field position. Did they go for the home run on the first play here. Yes, they would. Play action. Here comes Navarre. There it goes. Got a man just overshot. Braylon Edwards. He had him open by a step. So it's third down at 10. Bellamy the motion there. Navarre, plenty of time. Down the middle. First down inside the 20, Tyrese Butler. 
with the grab. Pickup of 18 on a third and 10. 36 yard field goal attempt. Phillip Brabs. The kick on the way and he missed it to the left. So the question mark remains. No good. Wolverines with an opportunity to add to their lead, but they come away missing a 36-yard field goal with 9.24 remaining in the first quarter. Didn't do much with a great opportunity, great field position on the fumble by the Huskies. Pretty soon they're going to try Reggie Williams and Marlon Jackson. They're to the top of your screen. Pickett slipping the other way, and now comes back or wanted to, but he pays the price. Dan Rumashek, who had seven sacks last year, and was all Big Ten's got his first one of 2002. This Michigan defense led the nation in sacks last year with 50. Rumashek, 92, just gets inside of the tight end. The back can't get him, and that's just easy picking. The tight end and a back trying to block Rumashek. <laughs> Forget it. And to the left side there, they just run right through and make the play. Now back to live action to go the screen pass to B.J. Askew, who hurdles a would-be tackler, and he's into Washington territory. Down to the 46-yard line. And a convoy over there. On the left side, Michigan has always loved their screens, and Askew has caught a lot of passes in his career at Michigan and knows what to do with it. The all-22 is just going to be a screen out to the top of the side, right out here. E.J., the leading returning receiver with Marquise Walker having gone on to pro football. 26 catches last year, and a big one there for 24 yards. Sanderson now checks in as a fullback. On first down, just outside the 45. Nice play fake by Navarre. Might want it all. Deep ball's got a man and got him. Touchdown! Braylon Edwards. This is the offense that the Michigan fans were looking for. The further it went last year, the more conservative it got, more predictable. But it's easy in the first game of the year when teams haven't scouted you for uh, six months. They don't know what you're doing in training camp. So again, Michigan with a quick strike offense. First through on a ground play by Perry, and then through the air to Edwards. A holiday weekend bash presented by AT&T Wireless has Michigan in front of Washington 14 to nothing. A team that, that does uh, come from behind quite often. Second and 15. Deep ball, Pickett lays it out there and it's intercepted. Marcus Curry. Second turnover by Washington. Well, it's, um, it's single coverage to begin with, and the ball just doesn't get out there far enough. Top of your screen, Curry number 30. This ball needs to be thrown further to the sideline. It allows number 26, the other Curry, his brother, time to get over there and make a difference. Marcus says, I can handle this ball. <laughs> Paul Arnold was the intended receiver. Never had a chance at the ball. Michigan will take over its own seven. Chris Perry. Perry, whoa, almost broke it again. And had he cut loose in that one, it would have been about 93 yards later. Close. Wasn't that impressive? Man. Nice play fake by Navarre. He hit a home run last time. He's going deep for Bellamy. Just overshot it. He had him, too. Had almost the, the same play last time he hooked up with Edwards, this time going for Bellamy. From the 19-yard line. Great drop for Navarre. Pumped. And almost lost it, then got drilled. Ty Ellis. Ty's having a nice ball game for a guy that's been so banged up over the past year or so. Yeah. Reggie Williams, all 6-4 of them, a big play playmaker. That's where Pickett wants to go with it. Got it. Inside the 30 and tiptoeing out of bounds at about the 26-yard line. So right away, they know where to go. Here comes a blitz. Quick toss to the tight end where? He's inside the 20, so they're in the red zone for the first time today. Seventh play of the Husky drive. Still looking for points. Play action. Pickett lofts it out to Tui Asasopo. And he's inside the 10. Both split out to the right side in second and goal. 
Now Williams in motion to the slot. Pickett with time. Running out of it. Throws. Got his man. Touchdown. And it's his tight end, Kevin Ware. John Anderson in for the point after. Out of a Cody Pickett hole. High snap. Pickett got it down. And the kick is no good. Wasn't even close. Not even in the ballpark. Pickett had to go high to get it down, and once he got it down, maybe he sat it down sideways. I don't know, but Anderson missed it badly. Unless Shante Orr, did Shante Orr get a piece of this? Let's take a look. Uh, see, if, see if the hold is good. Nice balance, and they lead by eight. This would be huge if the Huskies could force a punting situation by Michigan after how long they've had the ball and not that much to show for. Perry gave it up. Fumble and Washington's got it. Kai Ellis is on top of it. Williams knocks it loose. Ellis gets it. Start to get a little bit of a groove it seems. They give Alexis on the cutback. Touchdown Washington. And they are a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up when it was all Michigan yeah. just minutes ago. That's nice running by Alexis and good blocking by Dix, number 78. And this, this, this ball game has turned around in the last five minutes. So 14-13, Michigan. They put out some dandies. Second down and 10. Pickett wanted to throw a slant. Now comes back down the middle, and he rifled it. And it's complete. Reggie Williams, and that was a tough hit. Williams took the hold out of that football. It's first and goal. Husky debut. He was the first freshman wide receiver ever to start game one in Washington history. Back on the ground, nothing there. No, 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 no. Things just stuffed. They fake it to him. First option today, and it's an option that Cody Pickett would just as soon have gone away with. No, that didn't look good at all. No, it didn't. Cato June made the tackle. There was nobody back to pitch the option to. If they're thinking fade, either guy is capable in that respect. And there's the fade, and it's to Reggie Williams. And he can't get it because Marlon Jackson's all over him again. That's good stuff right there, partner. You called it. Jackson knew the possibility of it coming out there. He threw it out there, and he fought it away. And knocks it away. John Anderson will try a 28-yard field goal to put Washington ahead. And it's blocked like a year ago, only this one's the other way. And the Wolverines have got it. Shante Orr making like a fullback going the other way. Payback time for the Wolverines. The field goal team has not been very good for Washington here today. The snap a little low again. Yeah, and there's, there's, there's leakage on the right side over there between the guard and tackle. Diggs is the guy that got it. Yeah, got in and blocked it. Up to the first game. Let's see how Michigan plays it. With a full complement of timeouts. B.J. Askew on a cutback run. Got it across the 40. They keep it on the ground to Askew. First down for B.J. and then some. So they crush up the Washington defense a little by keeping it on the ground. And B.J. Askew rips off 13 in the first down, Michigan. Second and 10. Navarre fires out complete. Good pickup for Tyrese Butler. And uh, Tyrese, I don't know if he's got a first down or not. Looks a little bit short, I think. Navarre's the same way. He's been around long enough. Third and short. Throws out. I guess you can trust him. He got... His intended receiver, a first down at the 25, Draylon Edwards. All timeout. All right, they stopped it. With four seconds left. He'll be smiling if he hits his field goal going yeah. to the locker room. He'll be laughing if he makes it. If he doesn't make it, it'll be a whole different path. <laughs> so they put it down on the left hash. It's the yeah. kind of spot yeah. you'd want it for a right-footed kicker from 42 yards out. To end the first half. Kick on the way, not a chance. Knuckleball left, not even close. And so Michigan comes away empty, even though they've moved themselves into what looked like scoring position. They still have the lead, but we got a good football game going on here between number nine and number 10. It is 14-13, Michigan in front. 10 minutes to go, third quarter. Michigan still in front. 
Pickett pump fakes, now wants it all the other way. Double coverage out there, though. How and it's get... caught, it's a touchdown! Frederick caught it off a ricochet. How did that get through? I thought it was going to be intercepted, and Charles Frederick's got it for a touchdown. Fifty-one yards, and the Huskies are in front. And Cody Pickett, the 51-yard touchdown pass to Charles Frederick, and all of a sudden the Huskies have silenced 111,000 in Ann Arbor. Done very well on third down. High snap, though, as he works from the gun. Comes across the middle. He's got another first down conversion. Out. He's got more than that. Tyrese Butler. And he makes it onto the Washington side of the field, down to the 48-yard line. The Vars had some tough third downs. That was the that was the fourth third and ten or more. That was for 22 yards, and this is just going to go like a little square, and you're going to go down, break to the inside. That's a good play right there. If he breaks, the, if he breaks that tackle by Carruthers, he may have gone all the way. That's what the fans are hoping. Three wide out offense. From the Husky 46. Huskies thinking about a blitz. They're going to bring it and try to run the other way is Askew. He runs into Cooper and gets what he can. Second, uh, make it third down. And three. Navarre off play action. Man wide open in the flat. It's Askew. BJ inside the 25. Nice cutback. Still on his feet. He's got it all the way to the 11 yard line. He wanted the end zone. Did he ever? 30 yards. He almost got it. Yeah, he wanted to get there. Navarre wants to throw, quickly does, inside the five, and it's down to about the two. The ball is loose, I think, unless they blew it dead. A handoff, Perry, touchdown, Michigan. Chris Perry, second touchdown of the day. This one short distance after the other one was long distance. And the Wolverines have tied it up and a chance to take the lead. So Michigan's back in front, courtesy of Chris Perry's second touchdown of the day with 5.30 to go third quarter. Michigan by a point. Uh, Ruff's about 35 down. Yeah. Looks good. Good for him. Navarre trying to throw a quick slant, had it batted down and almost intercepted. Washington saying our ball, our ball. The officials are disagreeing. No, they're not disagreeing. Huskies have it. Here's Washington at the Michigan 20. Pickett might want it all on the first play. To the end zone, to Frederick. Couldn't pull it in. It's coverage out there from Zia Combs. He was covered. He just threw it out there. Let's go back to the previous play. Watch right here. There's Kai Ellis, 90. Right there. He just It was a little game. It was a little twist. He slapped it right he to himself. He came inside. Yeah, he slapped it to himself. <laughs> the defensive linemen were, were man blocking, so when he slid to the inside, nobody was knocking his hands down. Wow, what a huge play. Second down at the 20. Pickett. Got a man open in the flats. Alexis. And Alexis got about four. four. He's run out of bounds by Victor Hobson. Here it's third down at six at the 16. Michigan's going to bring it all. Quick throw and a nice open field tackle out there. Put on by Marcus Curry. Yeah, and that, that's, that's big. Maybe the confidence of kicking a field goal here might boost him over the edge and be a better kicker for the rest of the season. Exactly. You don't let him kick. You're just sending the wrong message. And, let him kick. and he's got this one. You're right, Swanee. Three out of four against Michigan last year. Had one blocked earlier, but he knocks through this 30-yarder. At the 20. They fake the draw. Off play action. Come up throwing. Boy, did he fit that one in? I guess so, because that thing looked like it was a possibility of getting intercepted. Instead, Ronald Bellamy got it for a 12-yard game. Nice play fake by Navarre. Deep out, got a man wide open at the 45, and Calvin Bell took himself down. He, oh, man. He had 30 yards to run. He just couldn't find his footing. He found the football. That's your first order of business, and then try to gather yourself. And he got all turned around. Down he went. His first catch, but it's a big one. This is a play Michigan uses all the time. And instead of running both receivers across the field, they took Bell halfway over and then took him back where he came from. He, there wasn't a guy within 30 yards of him. 
We start the fourth quarter with Michigan trailing Washington by two, but a first down at the Husky 40. End around, possibly coming. There it is. Quarterback got a good block and Ronald Bellamy down the sideline. Jan Navarre stuck his nose in there, and that helps bring his wide receiver for a good game. You stole my line, partner. I don't know if the quarterback got a blocker if he took a block. He cartwheeled him, I'll tell you that. Nice play fake by Navarre. Wide open is his tight end. Inside the 20, and it's Benny Jopru. And now Michigan's got something working. First catch of the day for the captain of the offense, Benny Jopru. Second down, Perry straight up the middle. And Chris might have a first down, I think. Marcus Cooper brought him down. It looks like it's first and goal, Michigan, unless they have to bring the chains out to look at it. Nope, they won't. First down. He'll get it again. Digs into the middle of that pile and keeps his legs going. And he got down to the three. Perry behind him. Perry. Touchdown, Michigan. Chris Perry's third of the day from three out. And the Wolverines are back in front. Twelve forty remaining in the ball game. Back and forth we go. It's Michigan in front. Three hundred plus and two touchdowns. Long stretch handoff. Alexis broke into the clear. Rich Alexis, one man to beat. Inside the 30, down the sideline. And he catches him at the three-yard line. Charles Drake saved a touchdown. Tuiasa Sopo, the lead man. He's the fullback in the eye. Alexis a tail. They fake it. They option, and it's a walk-in for Alexis. Touchdown, Washington. It's about the first or second time we've seen the option today, and they pull it out on the goal line. This may completely change the complexion of the two-point conversion now. It's at the one-and-a-half-yard line. Play action. Pickett still looking. Got a man in and out of the hands of Ware. It looks like Drake got a hand on it. So the two-pointer goes for naught. But Washington has indeed regained the lead, courtesy of a long run by Alexis. And then on the option, pitch the one-yard score. Washington 29, Michigan 28. 5.22 remaining. Michigan trailing at home. They may not get their hands on it again if they don't get a first down. Navarre, quick toss across the middle, spinning. Coming up just a little bit short is Braylon Edwards. Askew, looks like he's going to be the lead blocker for Perry. Perry's got the first and then some. Inside the 40 for Chris Perry. First down, Michigan. True, Rick was never a coordinator. Was a quarterback coach and a good one, though. Askew fumbled the ball, but he's out of bounds out of at bounds. the 36-yard line. Third down, Navarre. And that's a good call. It's a great catch by Butler. And the Butler does it inside the 20. John Navarre has played a great game, and that was a great throw right there. Gutsy. You've got to pick up this first down, and he not open that far. He drops back. You know, you got to have this ball right on line. Wow. Look at this. That's perfect. I mean, that that is that's a game breaker right there. I mean, they've got three minutes left to play. Long handoff to Perry. Weaving his way back inside. He might have a first down very close to it inside the 10-yard line. I but talked to him on Monday, he said. It would be tough. I bet he's loving it right now. Oh, yeah. And tripping and falling on his own. And that was third down and short. And now. Might have a timeout to think this thing over. First down. Troy Deinberg has hit the last two extra points for Michigan. He's going to get a shot after the other kicker grabs, missed two field goals. Deinberg's kick. No, it's wide right. We asked Lloyd Carr the other day if it comes down to a kick. You don't have Hayden Epstein anymore. And he looked at me and he said, if it comes down to a kick, we're going to have enough confidence that our kicker can hit it. But they've missed three. And that might have been the one that will cost him the ball game. 
Washington leading by one. All they're thinking about is holding on to the ball and getting a first down somehow. Alexis wrapped both hands around it and now tried to pop it outside. And there's Michigan's Alexis first time out. Taken after Alexis got a couple. They came in the higher ranked team, but when you play in this place, I don't know how you're ever considered a favorite. Now Pickett almost tripped going back, and he swarmed under. And another quick timeout taken. Rumashek drops him and calls a timeout. So let's see what Washington does on a third down and 17. I don't want to get too cute. Michigan's thinking about stripping the ball if they can or forcing the punt with another timeout. They'll play it straight. Up the middle. That's it. And here comes the last Michigan timeout. Well, that's smart. You've got to force Michigan to use their final timeout. Only 27 seconds taken off the clock by the Huskies on that last possession. Navarre comes up throwing and got it out. Complete midfield to Butler and out of bounds. Michigan at least 30 yards away from giving a field goal kicker an opportunity, you would think. Ball batted at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. And Kai Ellis, who's really just played a marvelous game defensively, again knocked down the pass. Third down, but it's two down time for Michigan. With that in mind, they hand off inside, and Askew is level at midfield. Navarre's in the shotgun. This pass means everything to the Wolverines. Full blitz, pass, complete. In and out of the hands, or is it a fumble? Michigan's covered it. They're going to say it was fumbled by Edwards. It's a fumble, and it's a first down. First down, Tyrese Butler, who got over there and covered Locked his down. teammates' fumble. Four wideouts for Navarre. Still out of timeouts, but getting closer. Navarre to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Going deep. Lays it out there and overshot everybody. Tyrese Butler was the intended receiver. Had single coverage if he would have been a little bit shorter. Butler would have had a play on the ball. Right, a sack would end the game here. You cannot have a sack. Here they come. Navarre is in trouble. He got rid of it. Incomplete. He just got rid of it, or it would have been a sack. Anthony Kelly, number 47, was draped all over him. And we're down to two plays. The real costly play was the third down play, the third down run. So here's third down again. Again, Washington shows as though they're going to bring it all. They do bring it from the corner. Navarre's in trouble. Steps up. Flags are down. Deep middle incomplete. Now is there a holding call? Because that flag came from yeah. way back in the secondary. There's two flags in the secondary. Three flags in the secondary. I was thinking, would they try to go to Benny Jopru, the tight end down the middle, and he was trying to work his way out there. I don't know if he was held or not, to be honest with you. But Dennis Lipsky will tell us. There were 12 players on the defense, illegal participation, 15-yard oh. penalty. Wow. 15-yard. Do they put the time back on the clock? Yeah, we won't count them up, but there's 12 of them out there. And they were trying to go deep down the middle. The flags came in. And Navarre already had his offense wisely at the line of scrimmage. He was ready to snap it and down it right there. He forgot about they have to walk off 15 now. Now how long is the field goal? It's well, it's about 44 yards. right now. 27 and 17 would be 44 yards. It all comes down to guys that haven't played. Isn't that amazing? Philip Rabs has missed from 36 and 42. And he gets a hug from one of his wide receivers there. Ronald Bellamy just kind of gave him a pat and said, hey, don't worry about the first two. It's the third time that's a charm. Five seconds left in the football game. If he misses it, ninth-ranked Washington gets out of the big house with a big win. If he hits it, he is a hero in Michigan for years to come. Grabs from 44 for the Michigan win. Kick on the way. He might have it. He's got it. Michigan wins. The third time is indeed the charm. Somewhere in that mess of Wolverine is Philip Brass, a junior out of Midland, Michigan, who's become a cult hero in Ann Arbor in five seconds. What a finish. <laughs>